What's up, YouTube? Deborah Dan here. Absolutely beautiful day here in Colorado. It is so nice. We are able to ride the supermoto. <laughs> uh, I think it's about 70 degrees. That's what it's supposed to be today. Oh, puppy. So it is so nice. We just got a fresh oil change done on the supermoto. Pretty sure there was no leaks or anything, so uh, we're good to go. I love that uh, fresh feeling. Right when you uh, do an oil change on your bike, they just love it. We're almost, almost to spring, you guys. And then it's supermoto weather. It feels like spring right now, though, because it is so nice out. Hey. Everybody was riding earlier. I heard everybody riding by my house while I was doing the oil change on this thing. I was like, Ah, I gotta hurry up so I can go out and join them. Oh, that doesn't look good. We are gonna head up to uh, Horse Tooth and enjoy some view ropes. It would be so nice to live over here, just have the mountains like right in your backyard. That would be so awesome. I bet these houses are way expensive though. Nope, nothing. How oh, great. All the cyclists are out now too. Let's see how much fuel I have. Oh, hey puppy. I think that's enough. Get the tires warmed up a little bit. Hey, BMW, nice. Brand new one. I haven't seen one of those in person before. Hey, what's up, man? Why are you going so slow? Oh, well, we'll just admire the views, I guess. Are you coming? <laughs> well, that'll be the uh, thumbnail of this. I'll see if he, uh, he comes. I don't know what the speed limit is. If you're the cop or not, but you're not the cop. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> well, <laughs> we almost got pulled over. <laughs> Good thing you just told us to slow down. <laughs> oh my goodness, woo! Good thing I remembered to grab my wallet too. Because <clears throat> that would have been bad if I had forgotten. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, 
lake is pretty full now. Must have been all that snow melt. Look at that tree underwater right there. <laughs> my first almost busted on a motorcycle <laughs> oh that would be cool take the supermoto on that bike trail I would be too afraid to go too fast and fall into the lake though Yeah, look at all these running trails. Hey, another supermoto. <laughs> nice. We'll go and talk to that guy. Oh, it's a DRZ, I think. <laughs> What's up? What is that? Uh, WR250X. Oh, nice. <laughs> I thought it was a DRZ at first. Ooh. 250X. Nice. It's, is that like brand new? No, it's a 2010. Wow. It's super clean. Yeah. Yeah, I picked it up about nine months ago. Nice. I only paid three grand for it. Nice. It's a 550. Oh, nice. Yeah, Husserberg 550 FS. Ooh, yeah. It's way faster than mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's got the uh, the huge front brake kit, so I could do like stoppies and stuff. I still gotta learn how to do those though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your kicker's over here too, on this side. It's on that side. Yeah, this left side kick, the chains on that side. Um, Batteries all down right here, down low, to keep the weight down low. Well, that's crazy. Yeah. What year is this? It's a 2007. 2007? Yeah. I just did an oil change on it, so I figured I'd take it out. This damn thing's got to be light, too. It is, 247 pounds. Damn. Yeah. That's coming, that's too nice. Is this uh, carbureted? Yeah, it is. That's 290, you said? No, that's 250. Oh, 250? That one's fuel injected. Oh, nice. Yeah, that one's fuel injected. Yeah, my next one, I want to get a fuel injected one. I want to get a 570. They make a, one of these FS 570s. Uh -huh. And the, uh, the piston, instead of going up and down like this, it goes like forward like that. Oh, dang. I, yeah, it's a weird design. And, there, and this, everything's still chain on this side, kicker on that side, too. But yeah, the 570 is what I want to get next, probably. Is it an uh, electric start or just kicker? This is both. Both? Yeah. Yeah, because that would be kind of weird. Because I used to ride dirt bikes, and then I would be all confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks. My left leg isn't as strong as my right leg, too. So, go yeah. Way, it starts fine. As long as it's warm like this, it'll start fine with the electric. Of course, that is a good thing, though, because that thing's electric start, but it doesn't have a kicker. Oh, yeah, so if your battery dies, then you're just stuck? Yep. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. That's super nice, though. You got it, like, really clean. Yeah, it's actually... Yeah, it's, it's actually hard to find those. Yeah. 
You know who uh, Chase on two wheels is? Uh -huh. He has one of those, except for he has, yeah, he has uh, supermoto tires on it too. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I think his is a 2011. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> might be 11, yeah. Oh, yeah. 2010. Yeah, I, I rode by and I was like, is that a DRZ? I saw it was a supermoto, but I thought it was a DRZ because of the headlight. My, my, my original headlight is actually square like yours, but this is a KTM one. Uh -oh. But yeah, I put a See, LED. I, I would almost prefer to try to find something like this because I'm not a big fan of, of that of I'm that not headlight. Been a big fan of that headlight. <laughs> yeah, the square one just makes it look old, but the the more angular one like this yeah. uh, makes it look I really like good. The, I like the fact that it's more sleek. Yeah. But there's a lot of damn. I think I got more wires sticking right there too. <laughs> yeah, probably. Working on uh, getting a programmer and exhaust for it right now. Nice, nice. Because that'll really help it. Yeah, for sure. It actually really isn't too bad, but. Just uh, open up the intake and then put an exhaust on it. That'll help a lot. I Get that airflow. A new, uh, air filter in there, but. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta get the exhaust and programmer. Yeah. <laughs> Your C height is actually. A tad bit lower than mine too, I think. Well, these are kind of, these are see, these, these things are kind of weird though, just the way they're shaped. Oh yeah, it gets wider at the back. It's yeah. Huh. How it kind of goes down and they kind of shoot up. Yeah, you're just like right there. Yeah, yours like an inch lower, lower than mine. One I really would like is the uh, KTM 690. Cause that one has the uh, what's it called the the shifter, um, quick shifter up and down. Oh yeah! So that's super nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see some guy on YouTube. I think maybe it was K no, it's something KTM something, but it was like a touring bike. Oh yeah. And he basically stripped it down and basically made it like this and, and it was basically like a straight super moto. Nice, was, nice. Yeah, it was a pretty bad ass one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you don't see too many of those out there. Either. Yeah, these are, when I was buying this, I was trying to find another one for sale online uh -huh. just to price compare, see if it was a good price. I could not find anything at all. Damn. Not Nowhere in the U.S., nowhere overseas, I couldn't find anything. Yeah. Yeah, the the guy who bought this one actually, one of the contractors I worked for, and he uh, uh, he actually went four states away to get this. Oh wow. Yeah, he didn't even. Because I've only seen, I've only seen two of these for sale. Mm-hmm. And the last time I seen one, one was like sixty-two hundred, and the other one they wanted like nine grand. Wow. Jeez. What year is it again? 2010? 2010. Yeah, you got a good deal on that then. Oh, you even got uh, passenger pegs. That's cool. Yep. <laughs> nice. That was one of those... Uh, 70 KT or uh, Hus Huskaverna 701 Cafe Racer has the same motor as the 701 Supermoto. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, huh. well, yeah, you're, yeah, you're just gotta be pretty quick. That. It is. It's, it's super it's nice. Like, in only weighing that much? Yeah. <laughs> it's, I guess, three pounds lighter than yours, and it's like tons. It's like, uh, I don't know the exact numbers, but it's a lot. It's a lot. It's like 50 something torque and like almost 60 horsepower. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, that's almost double. I think this is only putting out 32, 34. Yeah. 17 foot pounds of torque. <laughs> but it is only a 250. So. Yeah, yeah, it's good enough to do wheelies though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll do, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice though. Oh, nice. You got a locking gas cap on yours. Uh -huh. Does yours have uh, a keyed ignition? It does. Nice. Yep. Yep. 
That's one thing I don't like about this is it's no key. It's just there used to be one. Yeah, it used to be one to lock the steering. There it is, right there. That thing, right? There used to be one to lock the steering, but there's no keys. You just go right here, and you can start it up. Yeah, I wish they made ignitions for these. I, they, I think they did overseas, but they're not in the U.S. So I got like a brake lock that I put on there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good thing with these are keys. But I know uh, another guy I ride with too, or the guy who actually, the guy I bought this from, he sold me this one because he lives out in, uh, he lives out in Holt. Oh, yeah. Anyways, he wanted a 450. Nice. And then he just converted his too. His is a 2019 YZ 450. Nice, nice. And he converted it to, uh, obviously, to get a straight lane. Yeah. Yeah, I would like those. Yeah, but anyways, uh, he actually put in a he put in a whole key switch system for his. Yeah. But now he's having all kinds of problems with it. Oh really? Yeah, he's, he's trying to figure out if it was his battery or. It's probably drying uh, some some dr drying some electricity somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'll be able to get about I'll be able to get about twelve pounds lighter. Yeah, I like those. Those are cool. Yeah, you see that's that's what I like about this thing. Look, like, built in crash bars. Yeah, yeah, the, and, uh, these actually come stock on this bike. Really? Yeah, that's not aftermarket. That's not like Yeah, my my uh my ones I put on there aftermarket. Yep. And then I put this uh plate on there. Yeah. Yeah, these are yeah, these are actually factory. That's awesome. Well, it's like $179 if you gotta fucking ever replace those. Really? Yeah, it ain't cheap. Yeah. I just wish they made it in a in a in a bigger CC <laughs> for a factory supermotor like this. Yes. Yeah, that is that is one thing Yamaha should have did is they should have made one of these in the 450. Yeah, yeah. Because they never made it in the 450. Yeah, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, because you have the W because then you have the R version, which is the same damn thing. The only difference is, is you got the dirt bike. And, uh, your frames, your frames, your regular, you know, like aluminum looking. Okay. But other, but other than that, your specs, the motor, it's the same damn thing. Yeah, and then like half of their dirt bikes are all like corked down for power wise, except for the WR, uh, or not the WR. YZ. The YZ line is the one that's not like emissions restricted. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And the WR line is is emissions restricted. Yep. So you're losing power on the WR line. Yep. Well, I, well, I know this one too also comes with a factory catalyzed converter too. Oh really? Oh yeah. Huh. Yep. So actually, technically, you're really not supposed to be replacing it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the motorcycles don't do emissions yeah, anyway, do so, emissions yeah. yeah. I, might have a, I have an R1, too. It has cats in it that I need to take out. I don't think this one has any cats. It doesn't look like it. Just goes header straight to the exhaust. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. no. But, yeah, my R1 has a big old cat in it. I can't wait to take that out. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to drop about 12 pounds when I get, when I get rid of it. Yeah, get you a uh, lithium ion battery too. Yeah, well, you know the the I was looking at that too. You know the fa the factory battery that's in there. It actually only weighs two point one pounds. Really? Which hmm. is surprising because I was like, usually I was thinking they're around like five to eight. Yeah, usually you, that's where you can I save the most. I looked up the specs on it too because that's that's still the OEM battery. Huh? Yeah, and it's yeah they're only two point one pounds. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, that's actually that's actually really not that bad. Yeah. Usually, I want to get a lithium ion for this. It's just so hard to look at the where you can get to the battery. It's, you have to like, I don't know how to get to that battery, but yeah, that'll, that'll save me a lot of weight on this one. Get it down to like 242 or something. 
my battery's bigger now. Yeah, yeah, this one's Mine's real small. Almost, mine's almost twice that size. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. It does. It starts up fine in, in warm weather, but in cold weather, it does not like to start. I gotta kick yeah. it over in cold weather. Yeah, I fired mine up in the garage at like 10 degrees one day. And nice. Right yeah, that's, that's another reason I want to get a fuel injected one but next. Do you, well, I don't know. Do you, do you plug yours in? Yeah, I got a battery tender right here. I plug it yeah. in. See, that's the other thing I haven't done with that one. I haven't ran my wires yet. So, like, all year, I haven't even, I haven't even plugged this thing in. Oh, yeah. Uh -uh. But it's worked. Yeah, that's it's, good. I'm surprised that <laughs> it's actually it's fired up every single time. It hasn't hesitated or anything. And I'm like, yeah. I, <laughs> this was the battery I bought it with, and I've had it for two years now. So, I probably should get it replaced anyway. Yeah. But yeah, so I, I plug it in. If I leave it unplugged for a week, it probably wouldn't start. Uh -oh. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's, yeah, I'm actually surprised. That thing, because up until today, it's probably been a month and a half since I rode it. Really? I went out, checked the tires, glued the chain, and then fired it up. Yeah, this, I was like, Damn. last time I rode this was the last time it was really warm like this. I think it was, I don't know, a couple months ago. It just it doesn't like to start in the in the cold weather, so that's why I don't ride it in the winter normally. Yeah, I try to keep it above like fifty degrees. Yeah. Fifty, <laughs> maybe sixty if I can possibly, just because I don't want to. Because I know the last the last couple times before I rode when I was riding over and I just used to ride dirt bikes, so I always. Uh, always got sick every single time I went when it was cold. Oh yeah. Was like, no. Yeah, in my uh in my manual on this it says uh I think it's 10W40 for warm weather and uh uh 5W30 or something for cold weather. Uh -huh. So I I mean I have 10W40 in there for the warm weather stuff. So that's probably why that's another reason probably why it won't start in the cold. Oh yeah. Oil's too thin or something. Well, that's what I run in mine, 1040. It gives a little chart in the owner's manual. Yeah. That tells you what to... Yeah. But I think it goes down to like 40. It's like 40 to 100 degrees. So basically, that's where I just want to take that. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that's the, the same... temperature that I'm going to be riding in. Anyway. Yeah, my, my owner's manual's in uh, Celsius, so I had to convert oh. it over. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's from zero to whatever, Celsius. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, I'm going to keep on riding here, but let me give you a card if I have one. There we go. I'm making a video for YouTube. It'll probably be out this week or next week. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 It's nice to meet you. That's a really nice bike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It needs, it needs a little bit more work, but once we get there. But, yeah, that, that fuel injection is nice because it doesn't... Yeah. Oh yeah, it's super quiet too. <laughs> it starts up like that though. It's yeah. terrible, but... I like it. Not too bad for sure. Yeah, I like it a lot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just wish they made a bigger one. <laughs> yeah. That would have been perfect. Oh, you got a fan too? Nice. Yep. That's one thing I want to get for this too is a fan. Mm -hmm. One of the manual ones I can just turn on and off. Oh yeah. Somebody, I, I saw holes in the radiator on the other side. Someone at one point had one. <clears throat> so, yeah. They're just, they're all the ones that I can find. So this is a single radiator. Yours is on each side. And most KTMs are on each side too. So this one's a single one. So it's hard to find one for this. Oh, you only have, uh, um, yeah. mine is too. Oh, it is? Mine too. The, radi the radiator's here, and then over over here is my uh, cool is my cool and overflow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. KTM's they have, so have one. one on each side normally, and this one goes all the way across like a yeah. sport bike. Yeah. But yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this one only has one. There. Yeah. Well, that's not it's not too many CCs, so I guess it doesn't need a big one. Yeah. 
but I haven't had a problem with it overheating or anything. So. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's probably because I was a fan. And it has a fan too. Yeah. Fan doesn't kick on until it's probably about 80 degrees though. Oh really? I've noticed, yeah. The cause temperature. Because right, I've gotten a few, quite a bit of rides out of the winter, you know, when you get those 60 degrees. Yeah. And it's, yeah. But I didn't buy this till the end of, till the end of last summer. Okay. Nice. I had to slowly go through it. <laughs> Oh, I like those levers too. Those are cool. Handlebars, lights, yeah, levers. Nice breakaway ones. Yeah, no, other than that though, yeah, I gotta get that exhaust and programmer. I think it should be pretty good. Yeah. Did you? Because the, the guy I bought it from, he's got two of these. So he had this X, and then he had, he has an R, which is his wife's. Nice. And then he had the exhaust and programmer on his other one and I rode both so a stock one and modified oh it makes a big difference nice it nice makes a big difference are those the factory mirrors or did you buy those no those are the that's some it's something that I actually had different because I actually don't like those mirrors really because they suck and they move too much <laughs> yeah mine uh this, these ones came on it, but this one fell off. So I, I'm looking for new ones. Well, those, those mirrors are freaking expensive. Yeah. They're not cheap. Even the decent pair that I found, because I was going to put two on there. But it but they're basically just like these. Where you just, yeah, yours is a little bit longer yeah. too, so it would be out here. But it's actually better to have this style because that hangs too low. Oh, really? And you can, well, sometimes you hit it, so then it's a pain in the ass, but yeah. it's better to run the smaller, shorter, closer to the bars. Yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah, it works out good. Yeah. I made my own little custom bracket. Nice. <laughs> yeah, mine is uh, all the way underneath my plate. <laughs> all the way underneath right there. <laughs> Never, no one's ever said anything about it, so. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's lit up too, so. Yeah, that's why I decided to put mine there. I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk anything right away. Yeah. No, because I got followed by a cop a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I wonder if you thought I was a dirt bike. Yeah, I saw one coming in here. <laughs> and he was like, he told me to slow down. I was like, oh boy. <laughs> I thought he was going to pull me over. <laughs> All right, well, I think I'm going to head out. Yep, I think I'm going to chill. Keep on riding. We're blocking in two spots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to meet you. You got a what? I need to get my GoPro set up back. Oh yeah. Set up back <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean on these dual sport helmets you could put it on top here. I know, that's crazy that you have that helmet because that's the helmet I'm looking at getting. Yeah. Really? Yep. I would say get a size. Yeah, I want to get I want to get rid of the goggles. Yeah, it's nice with the sunglasses too. Uh, awesome. That's the reason I got it. I would say get a size bigger though. I normally wear a medium and this one's kind of tight on the sides of my head. Oh, is it? Yeah. What size did you get? This is a medium. This is a medium? Yeah. Yeah, my, like this one's a small. Yeah, you might be fine with the medium then. See ya.
Oh yeah. It's always good to meet another supermoto rider. Hey. Everybody's out riding today. <laughs> Hey. Don't want to get a target fixation and run into that Mercedes. <laughs> anyway, guys, I will leave you off on some uh, view ropes here. Thank you for joining me on this uh, short little video. Almost getting busted. <laughs> and uh, me another supermoto rider. If you guys like today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day.